Hey everyone, so I have a DIY project that you're just going to love. We are going to make our own at home dishwasher tabs with some Mrs. Myers. It's gonna smell great, they work really well, and they're super cheap. We're talking less than $1.50 for more than two dozen. So stay tuned. So let's go over the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need something that you can form your dish pods in. This is a macaroon silicone kind of thing, but you can also use like a little mini muffin tin. You'll need your citric acid. We're gonna use a half cup of that. And you will need your baking soda. We're going to use one cup of that. And then for here, we're going to take some Mrs. Meyers multi-surface uh, cleaning spray. And then we will also use a little bit of dish soap. They're both in the same scent so that my pods will smell good. We're also going to use this whisk and then we will also use this tablespoon for, I'm sorry, that's a teaspoon for the soap and then this is a half cup for the citric acid. I'll use two of those for the baking soda. You'll need like a little sifter or something like that so you don't have crumbles in your bowl and of course here's your bowl that you're going to mix everything in and then finally you're going to have a little storage container to store them. Make sure it's lidded. So the first thing I'm going to do here is put some gloves on. You really do not have to do this with gloves, but um, since there's citric acid in the mix, you may feel like a little tingling, so that's why I like to wear gloves. I know they've been hard to get for a little bit. You, again, don't have to have them, but it's nice to have them. So now I'm going to measure out one cup of baking soda and you'll notice that I put the citric acid off to the side. I'm actually going to add that last so it won't activate and foam up. So all I'm going to do right here is do two scoops because that's a half cup that I've got. I'll just level them off and put them through the little strainer right there so it doesn't get clumpy on the inside. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sift through so I don't have any crumbles in there. Just kind of smush out what we have left. Just get that down there smoothly. And now I'm gonna take this teaspoon, yes it is a teaspoon, and I am going to put some of this Mrs. Meyers dish soap in here. And I will drizzle it into the mixture. Um, right now it's just baking soda, but I will make a mixture with that. Just so you know, that is the orange clove scent. It smells so good. It's one of their fall scents. So that's what I'm using there. And then I'm going to spray, and I try to keep it two to three sprays at a time. So I'm spraying three sprays at a time, and I'm mixing a little bit here and there, and I'm just mixing it slowly. I'm waiting for it to become the consistency of a kind of fluffy but not too hard snow and you'll see what I mean. We're just going to go through this and you'll see how I can mix it up.
So now you can see that I have gone now, this is my fifth round of spraying three squirts each. And I think this is where I'm about to get the consistency that I'm looking for. It's something where it will hold together in my hand, but not fall apart immediately, but also won't really hold together too long. And you'll see what I mean right here. So now here's where the magic happens and this is why I always add the citric acid last because once citric acid hits something wet, it starts to expand and react. So I am putting um, the citric acid again through this little sleeve so I can kind of make everything go through evenly and it's not going to be crumbly. So I'm going to put that in and you will see once I start stirring it what happens. So once you start mixing, when you do this at home, you're going to start to see that it's starting to get puffy. See how it's sticking into the whisk? It's expanding and that is what I was trying to avoid in the beginning because we don't want that step to happen until now. So now it's kind of the, the consistency or texture of um, almost a uh, light sticky snow, I guess is what you'd call it, but it, it's sticky. It's, as you can tell, it's sticking to my gloves. So. That is the consistency that we are looking for because we need to be able to make it kind of ball up once we put it into our little silicone thing here. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So this is gonna be the fun and very messy part. So I'm just gonna divvy these up. It's not going to look pretty. They're actually going to expand. So right now all I'm gonna do is just kind of fill each cavity and just punch and see what happens. But uh, it doesn't have to be neat. It just needs to be kind of separated out far enough so that you'll be able to make tablets out of them. These are going to be actually kind of big, but I'll show you what I do when I go to put it in my dishwasher later so you can see how it works. Because like I said, these are not like small little tablets, but they will be the size that will fit within the um, area of your dishwasher that takes your tablets. And as you can see, they have expanded, so I'm kind of like pulling little bits off some of them, putting it in the bowl, smushing them down, and then adding uh, little bits and pieces back to the ones that look like they've gotten a little too small because I pulled too much off. It's just kind of an eyeball thing, but you will see that they will expand very, very, very much here in just a few minutes. So this is about a good maybe 30 to 45 minutes into them sitting. They are still soft. You just you can just keep pushing them down as you would like to to kind of make them more solid because they're basically just filling with air. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pushing them down and I'm going to let these sit for several hours. I want to say I usually let them sit overnight, but if you're doing it during the day, you might want to go about like 8 to 10 hours. And then this was it just a few hours later. So we're probably about five or six hours in, still a little bit soft. So we're waiting for them to get rock hard before we separate them out. And once again, any chance I get to flatten them, I will do that until they get hard. If you made them, it's probably the next day. If not, it's several hours later, but they literally do just kind of pop right out. Yes, they're not pretty on the top side. They look much better on the bottom side. And yet I did kind of overfill these they're a little bit bigger than they should have been, but they will still work. So you would just put them in a lidded container 
and then this is how you put them in the dishwasher. So this one, I'm just gonna slide it in right there. And you can also squish them down a bit. They will break, but that's okay because you know sometimes people just put powder in the dishwasher. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you like them because they work fantastic. Thanks so much. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.